of you have been scared to try something new, like learning how to drive, or going skiing, or meeting new people, or trying new foods. And the lesson that I learned from my story was, don't be scared to try something new, because it will be worth it in the end. So, I was in fifth grade, and I was playing Little League. It was the fourth game of the season, and I slid into second base and broke my wrist. So, I was out for the rest of the Little League season, and so next summer, I would play Pony League, but not enough girls wanted to play Pony League. So, my dad thought it would be a good idea to try out for a travel team, and I didn't really want to, but he insisted that I should, because my older cousin Brittany tried out, and she made it, and she was a pretty good softball player. So, I practiced until August, and, um, and there was four tryout dates. There was two Saturdays and two Sundays. So I went the very first Saturday, and we got there. They took our picture. They, well, they took my picture. And my parents filled out paperwork, and I went in the dugout, and I waited for um, tryouts to start and just kind of talked to some other girls. And so once tryouts started, they split us up into groups based on our age. And they had four stations. They had pop flies, running, ground balls, and then at the end, we all came together to hit. So there was about eight girls in my group, and they sent us out to the pop fly station. And we went through all those stations, and I felt that I did pretty good, being that this was my first time trying out for a team. So they... They talked to us at the end, the coaches came together, and said that we all did a good job, and it was highly recommended that we came back again to try out. So I came back the Sunday, and so they split us up into our groups again. Um, there was still about eight girls in my group, and they sent us out to the pop flies. And so I'm sure if any of you have played baseball or softball, when you're trying to take pop flies, the sun can be at the perfect angle to be in the way. So it was my turn to take a pop fly. I was trying to adjust my glove so the sun wouldn't be in the way. And the coach hit the ball. I lost it in the sun, and it came down and hit me in the face. So being that I was embarrassed and didn't really know what hit me, I fell to the ground and started crying because it hurt. <laughs> and so the coaches came out and my parents came out and one of the coaches' wives brought us in a bag of ice. And so since my mom is all big about going to the doctor and making sure that you're okay, she took me to the eye doctor to make sure my vision was okay. So after the eye doctor, it was too late to try out again. So I had to wait a whole other week and try out Saturday again because my dad said I didn't finish a full tryout. So I had to try it again. So we went through all the rotations again. The practices were three hours long. So after that, they said that they would call us and let us know what happened. So a couple weeks later, I got a call saying that I made the team, which my dad was pretty excited about. I was, yeah, I just kind of, okay. So. Um, after I made the team, I went to meet up with the coaches and the girls, and they were all pretty nice. And I played Blue Devils for three years, and the three years consisted of tournaments almost every weekend, lots of practices, and meeting a lot of new people. And so, since my Blue Devil experience, um, I'm not really scared to try anything new because, like, since my lesson